January. If this is the very first video that you are watching in the New Year New Me series, please go see the introduction video that I have. It will set you up for this whole series and it will put you in the right set of mind, I hope, for what I am doing with my life here on YouTube. I promised myself that I wasn't going to give any sort of commentary about the month. I'm only here to kind of help the story go along. So let's get into it, January. So already this feels like a king bust because I don't fit in the clothes that I want to wear to the gym. And now I'm in sort of these baggy sweat stuff and I just feel bigger than what I already am. And the last thing I wanna do is go to the gym feeling like a fat girl, you know what I mean? And I know I have to get past it, but right now I kind of feel like I'm having an anxiety attack. Whoa, this is so weird. Wow, day one and I'm already like this. Um, I kind of just feel a little frustrated that I let myself get to this point where I have put myself in this position of kind of feeling uncomfortable with myself. <laughs> and whew, I'm only gonna get better if I work on my health. So I can't let this destroy me because I kind of feel like it is a mental thing. It's that eye-opening moment where you're like, what happened to me <laughs> and why am I here? <sighs> Ooh, okay, let's go, we gotta go to the gym. I did get into the gym and it was actually a really pleasant experience which pets me up for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to bed. This is too, this is just, this is too perfect. Right, Luis? Thanks, babe. So I have a few more moments before I have to take off. And one of the most important things that I do already is I look into my calendar, in my case, a bullet journal, to go over what I have to do for the week and then what I have to do for the day. It helps me stay organized and productive for the most part. Um, this whole process is about me being more productive, but I have these little notepads that I got from Michael's as well and I and I washi tape them into my bullet journal so I can go over the entire day in full detail because my bullet journal layout doesn't allow for daily, you know, uh, tasks and stuff like that. I also look up what I have to get done for the month. So I just look through all of my to-do notes and goals that I'm trying to achieve really and see if I can do it today. I need to figure out how people do their outfit of the days. I need to like set up my camera somewhere or something because the only way I can show you what I look like today is by going vertical. So sorry. So excuse me while I lean up against the pile of clean laundry <laughs> that is on my chair, but I have my simple dress. I've got some thigh high boots some black stockings, wee wee. And then I am pretty much done for the day. Oh my gosh, I have to like clean this too. There's so much to clean. So one major step in this whole process is adopting a healthy diet. And <laughs> being a chicken fingers and fries kind of girl, I did not know where to begin. And I'm still trying to figure all this out. But I knew that I wanted to eat whole foods and I wanted to eat stuff that was not processed or fake or you know high in sugar or sodium so I took to YouTube to try to find healthy people and one person that stood out was actually a vegan and her channel is called Pickup Limes. There was a few things on there that I really thought was kind of inspiring to eat. I could always just add chicken or beef and um, I liked it. I sort of feel like a Neanderthal because one recipe calls for a nut butter. I don't know. Okay, well that's like peanut butter and jelly without the sandwich. That's like a healthy peanut butter and jelly. Let, let's be real here. That is a healthy version of peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. I think these vegetarians are onto something. If you don't know what you're looking for, it's that much harder to find. And going in this blindly, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what was considered a healthy nut butter. So I chose the most popular brand that I knew. But spoiler alert, if you want a healthy nut butter, make sure that the ingredients only contain the nuts. 
That is it. <laughs> now, because I was home for the rest of the day, I had no excuse to not clean. And everything that was on my chairs was clean laundry and stuff that needed to be put away anyway. So really, it wasn't that hard of a task. I just had to actually do it. I made myself this super delicious enchilada rice that you top with cheese and an egg and some sliced avocado. It's not as healthy as something else could be, but it's also not an actual enchilada, so there's that. Then came the typical day in ladies' world where you feel too big for your clothes and you just don't know what to wear. I sort of think that I'm having an anxiety attack. My heart is beating so super fast and this is not a good feeling right now. <sighs> I don't know why. I think maybe because I'm about to travel to the East Coast. I don't know. Maybe I feel like I have a lot of shit to do. My heart is pounding. This is not a good feeling. This is when I remembered I had an app on my phone called Glam Outfit, which is a fantastic app that hosts all of your clothes into one little device. It's amazing having your closet in your pocket. And this is where I started to go through the things that I knew I fit in at that moment and then pair off other items with it in order to curate an outfit for the day. All right, so this is the curated outfit that I put together. I forgot I had this little jacket. I matches nice with my shirt. It's a little bit of punk, a little bit of ska, a little bit of the fuck? So before I leave, I have to clean out my entire kitchen area, but I cannot do the dishes until I clean the bathroom. And that is one of my rules because I don't really have a choice in the matter. I refuse to wash my dishes when the bathroom is dirty. So it's a long process and it's kind of annoying, hence where I use a bunch of disposables. I'm not really a fan of the fact that I use disposables, but I don't plan on living here forever and I do my best to recycle. I'm giving you guys a bit of a spoiler because I know that there are people out there who are gonna be triggered by the fact that I use disposables where I live. It's just a temporary situation. Again, I don't plan on living here forever, but let me just say, I'm so excited that I found these plant-made disposables. These things uh, biodegrade within a couple of months versus years. And I'm so happy that I found this. This is a whole learning process for me. And the fact that I feel less guilty using something like this just makes me feel good. Obviously, I have a ways to go. I did find recyclable pods. These are freaking awesome. I got these from Target. And these right here, what you do is you pop this lid, take the coffee out, and then you can recycle the cup. So very, very excited about these pods. I need to get more actually. And these guys, when I stay at hotels and they offer Keurigs, I just take them because that saves me money. <laughs> so I do what I can to recycle. And then this makes me feel really happy. Yeah, that's right. I clean my bathroom before I do my dishes because this is the only sink that I have in my space. So I make sure the bathroom is clean before I go and wash dishes into that sink, which is why I hate using dishes in my apartment. While the floor is drying in the bathroom, I go to the kitchen area and then I clean up that whole space and then I go back into the bathroom to set up the space to wash dishes in. I told you, it's a huge ordeal. Do you see how this is such a pain in the ass? <laughs> Listen, I understand that by putting my life out there, it's open for everyone's comments and stuff. There's no perfect way to clean dishes here in my place. The only thing that I try to do is avoid getting food as much as possible down this sink because it doesn't, it's not designed to have anything go down there. And um, while it's not fantastic to throw away oily stuff in a toilet either, it's better than getting rid of this water in the sink. Um, it's just something that I'm doing for now until I find a better option. And now that everything is clean, I can finally go to the bathroom. Yeah, that's right. I can't use the bathroom until all the dishes are done. That's just a thing that I do. Now, moving on to the rest of my place, I've never cleaned up so much in one day. Um, but I will say that I'm very excited that it was as spotless as I left it when I got back home.
So a smoky eye is actually one of the best looks that you can do before you travel onto a plane. Because if you're the kind of person who dozes off, like during takeoff and whatever, your eyeshadow's already smudged at the bottom. <laughs> so you never have to worry about keeping your makeup all pristine looking. It's already smudgy. Look at me putting on lashes at like two in the morning. See, the glow up has begun. Ready for the plane. So I like to keep it really, really casual on the plane. It has to be super, super duper comfy because you're just in a tight little spot. And then this is in case it gets cold on the plane. I normally don't get cold. I'm always like this. I'm like, it's so hot in here. So, <laughs> eh. all right, see you guys later. I love it when I get really lucky on planes and I don't have to sit next to anybody because then I can take a nap. And I have arrived in Boston. This is my home for the next few days. How cute is this? All right. Okay. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my word. Oh my word. Ooh, walk and shower. Super cute, super fun. Let's move in. For me, the more I make everything feel like home, the more it feels like I'm not in some strange place. You know, like, I mean, no matter what, you're gonna feel like the effects of not being home, but you know, it is what it is. We're at lunch at work here on my lottery dream home. Hey! Hey. What did you just tell me about my pants? What did you tell me? They're, they're sagging. They're <gasps> droopy. They're too big. <gasps> Ooh. That means you need to give those to me. Okay, see, now you're fired. <laughs> Lately, we've been staying in hotel rooms that have kitchens in them, which I'm so grateful for because it allows me to go to the grocery store to buy food and then cook for the rest of the week. One of the cool things about being in a grocery store that you're not familiar with is that you get introduced to new things. like. What the heck is a Whippet? I've never seen this before. I mean, I can't eat it right now, but I want to. That looks delicious. I found this roasted yellow pepper salsa, which I decided to pair with rotisserie chicken. Vlogging while working isn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I did have a really good uh, food day. I didn't splurge on Crafty, which is unknown and unheard of for me. I would normally jump on the Oreos or the Cheez-Its, but I did nothing of the sort, so I get a gold star for today. All right, let's try this bad boy. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm, it could be a little spicier, actually. I gotta be honest, I would have liked the, the kick. I did it, I got ready, and I'm actually going to the hotel gym. <sighs> Okay, so 177 isn't exactly a number that I'm proud of, but um, I also know that I'm weighing myself at the end of the day versus the beginning of the day, which is what you're supposed to do, you know? Um, there's so many variables, and honestly, your weight isn't going to be that much different. You know, we're not talking 10, 20 pounds here, you know? So at least I have a general idea of where I'm starting from, and Really the most important thing is that I'm healthy and that I have a good, I don't know, uh, a relationship with my health and my diet and all of the crazy stuff. So let's just, let's see where we go from here. If this first week seems a little crazy to you and unplanned and unscheduled, it's because it is and it's because it's real life and not everybody is completely organized and completely put together because not everybody's on YouTube, not everyone's an influencer, not everyone is a guru of whatever, whatever, you know? I'm just your basic ass bitch who's just trying to drink her pumpkin spice lattes in peace. This is the real deal. This is from me to you saying, all right, can this be done? It's like a social experiment on myself. <laughs> and now is the time I need to wash my face take a shower, wash my hair, style my hair, brush my teeth, put my serums on, and then go to bed and all of that sounds daunting.
it was daunting and I did do it. In fact, this whole process is me complaining about shit that I don't wanna do. So here is today's outfit and it is freezing outside. So I'm most likely gonna be wearing a scarf and a jacket on top of this. So you're probably not even gonna see anything. Thanks, Boston. So I'm sitting here about to start my outline and stuff for the vlog that I'm gonna edit for YouTube. And I had this moment where I just paused and started to drift. And that's when I for slightly forgot that I got horrible, horrible sleep last night. I ended up going to bed like around like one-ish, I think, 12.30, 1, 1.30, something like that. And of course I got up really early this morning. So I'm feeling it now. Now that I'm sitting, now that work is done, I'm feeling this whole like, wow, I'm actually kind of tired. So I'm not gonna push myself. I'm gonna schedule in my damn nap. And I'm gonna sleep for about, uh, let's see, I have here, then maybe like a good, I'll just give myself like an hour and a half nap. And then I'll go back to outlining and decluttering and um, doing that stuff. And then we can head out to Mary Poppins. Yes, sleep is good. You need sleep. If you're not getting sleep at night, then get sleep during the day, as long as you're getting sleep. I definitely could have slept some more. <laughs> I could have slept all night. <laughs> Mary Poppins! Yay! 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 <laughs> this is all I got. Water. Yes! I feel so bloated right now. Cramps, everything. It's horrible. But I'm really curious to see what I what I clock in as. <laughs> I gotta say, my jeans aren't working as hard today, so <laughs> that's nice. All right, mister. What you got for me? Wow. All right. 173.6. I keep forgetting to take video of the food that I'm eating. I'm just not used to whipping out my cell phone and being like, eh, no, mm, mm. I can't say that because I do bring out my cell phone to Insta story. So <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to say there, but I can honestly say that I've been doing pretty well with my diet. I mean, I've been eating very, as clean as I possibly can, you know? I just try to eat something that's more wholesome. I'm trying to avoid the processed foods, although when we are at lunch and stuff, we do eat out at restaurants. And you know, restaurant food isn't exactly the healthiest. Even if you get a grilled chicken, it's full of sodium and hidden sugars and, and things like that. So it is what it is. But I do order healthy, like, oh my God. Lunch yesterday was so good. Had this rice bowl with grilled chicken and sauteed butternut squash, red bell pepper and spinach. Oh, topped off with avocado slices. Ah, a little sesame ginger vinaigrette. Ah, it was so good. My mouth is watering. And then I also just, well, I didn't discover it. It was, the my attention was drawn to it from someone else. Uh, hot sauce. Okay, so I've noticed that I am more likely to add you know vegetables to my breakfast because I've also included hot sauce. I'm not typically a hot sauce, I'm not even a sauce person. I don't really like to dip the, I, no, I'm good. I don't even like barbecue, like I know it's weird. So <laughs> I uh, tried Cholula for the first time late last year and I was in Miami and I put it on my eggs and it, there was an Italian sausage and a potato kind of mixture. And so I just threw some on to add a little flavor. So good. And I'm kind of obsessed with Cholula now. <laughs> oh God, how many of you out there, right? So now I've been eating more spinach with my eggs because the Cholula sort of makes it taste better. <laughs> How to lose weight when you're a really picky fucking person. I mean, this is so far away. How do you do an outfit of the day? <laughs> it's like I have to hold the phone. <gasps> what the fuck? Um, <laughs> yummy. Thank you.
Okay, so the very first work week of 2019 is officially over. Yes, I'm so excited to go home, you guys. I'm tired. Uh, I don't sleep much when I'm on the road because I suffer from jet lag and I don't get to sleep at all. So normally when I go home, I sleep my very first day away. And when you only get two days off, that can get kind of stressful. So I'm gonna try not to do that. Um, I have to make sure I maintain focus on productivity and work towards my life goal. So even if it's just one day of my two days off, I need to do something that's gonna make me move forward. So my current goal is to get into that closet of mine and do my final purge. I'm not working with much right now because when I moved into my studio, man, I got rid of so much stuff because quite frankly, I didn't have the space to put anything anywhere. So I had to get rid of stuff and then when I moved into my space, I did another purge because I realized I'm not, I'm not wearing some of this shit. <laughs> so I got rid of it. And now that I have a Pinterest board of my style inspo, I need to focus on what items in my closet are actually giving me those lurks and what is not and get rid of those items that are not serving me a good purpose or serving me lurks. <laughs> I just wanted to say the word. So it's got to spark joy because it's a little bit KonMari and it has to serve my, my style. So this is gonna be very interesting. I wonder if I can get down to like a capsule kind of wardrobe, we'll see. And this is gonna be really, really good because it's gonna help me with shopping, you know? Hopefully I won't be so distracted by that fast fashion and what's trendy. All of my Pinterest pages and pictures have black jeans, but I don't have black jeans. So when I go shopping, guess what I'm gonna buy? Black jeans. I'm also going to buy stuff that's a little bit um, higher end because when you have, you know, better clothes, they last longer and you end up spending less money over time because fast fashion and stuff, all the Forever 21, H&M, Zara, those clothes don't last very long. And yeah, they're really cheap, but you get what you pay for. So when I do see a quality item, I'm going to drop the money on it. I will. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. <laughs> Flew from Boston back to LAX and um, did everything that I said I was gonna do on my daily sheet and yikes. And it is only six o'clock. Oh my God, I literally thought it was 9.30 right now. I'm so drained. Uh, it was a very long flight. It was a five hour, 41 minute flight to LAX. And um, when I got in, I was exhausted. I, I always have the hardest time on planes because I, I have major body pain all the time. And sitting in those seats is just the worst. And today was really bad. So um, I tried to sleep throughout the plane just to try to bypass it. So I didn't really get anything done. I went to the grocery store. I got myself some stuff. I realized tomorrow is Monday. It's time to do my second Meatless Monday. And this is the moment when I was at the grocery store, I realized that, oh, you know, it probably is really important to plan everything that you're doing with your life because oh, all of a sudden it's Monday already, you know, like you lose, you somehow, even with tracking everything, you somehow lose the time if you don't pay attention and if you don't look up. And today I was definitely on autopilot maybe I can tackle something tonight to make tomorrow a little bit easier for myself. You know, that's the idea of having the availability to write everything down and just looking at what needs to be done and be like, okay, I can do this now, you know? So rest, Lana Reese, rest. Coffee, eggs and dates. Hello, Meatless Monday. I got up early, I made breakfast, I ate it. <laughs> took a shower, did my face, started laundry, did all the phone calls I needed to do, and I went on Periscope for an hour and a half, and now it's time to do something productive today. It could be the beginning of my editing for this whole thing, or it could be going into the closet to purge all the clothes that I don't want anymore, that don't serve me and my style and my joy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do the closet. <sighs> Here we go. 
Personally, I think before you start purging things out of your closet, you need to know exactly what style that you want to portray. So go to Pinterest, create a board of all of the clothing inspirations that you find, and then pair that up with the clothes that you do have to see what exactly is serving you those looks. And then of course, use the Kanmari method to get rid of the things that do not spark joy. And then also things that just don't serve you anymore. I didn't have that many shoes and clothes to go through because again, I've done this like a few times before, but this is definitely the last of the last purge for me. Okay, this is a no-no. I hate this, it drives me mad. So I picked up more of these guys at Target and I'm just going to just organize the shit out of this right now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first half of January. I'm sorry if this video seems a little bit unstructured, it's because it is. And the next few videos will probably be about the same because I'm still trying to find my own sort of habit and flow. So the storytelling isn't going to be precise until I finally get into my groove. So cut me some slack. If you like what you see though, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, which is at Lana Reese. If you'd like to support my channel, please click the coffee link down below. It sends me a coffee and I love coffee. I will also match that donation and put it towards running my channel or putting it towards paying off my debt, something that gets me to my main life goal. Thank you so much for watching this video. Share with your friends and I will see you guys soon. Bye everyone.